Is homosexuality to blame for the Catholic Church's pedophilia scandals? According to several members of the Vatican and a couple commenters on my latest Atheist Watch video, the infiltration of the priesthood by gays is the cause of the problem. Statistics are often thrown around that mention 80% of the priests allegedly voicing homosexual attractions, as cited in a John Jay research study commissioned by the National Conference of Catholic Bishops. As many have pointed out, though, correlation is not necessarily causation, and there are many things wrong with the association of homosexuality with pedophilia. First of all, the John Jay study performed in 2004 only surveyed American priests. Monsignor Charles Secluna, who is the chief investigator on the sex abuse cases for the Vatican, has placed the percentage of male-on-male -male abuse among worldwide priests at about 60%. The 80% figure from the John Jay study also only focuses on how many cases involved male victims. Many priests were found to be multiple offenders, often facing allegations from both male and female victims, so how many of that 80% are really homosexuals? The answer is that it's very hard to say, even with the 60% cited by Cicluna. Psychologists have known for a long time that pedophilia is not simply a matter of sexual attraction. As in the case of other sex crimes, like rape, pedophilia is about causing harm and violating innocence, often brought on by what psychologist Thomas Plant calls comorbid disorders such as substance abuse, impulse control problems, personality disorders, affective or mood disorders, brain injury, as well as an inability to maintain mature, intimate, sexual, or non-sexual relationships with adults. Sexual orientation is a red herring in the pedophilia scandals debate. There certainly are homosexual priests who molested young children, but there are also heterosexual priests who did, and many bisexual priests, and many more who were uncertain of their orientation. There is also a tremendous difference between having sex with another consenting adult of the same gender and having sex with a child of the same gender. To lump the two into the same category is ignorant of the psychology of pedophiles, ignorant of homosexuality, ignorant of what the statistics really show, and attempts to build causation out of a correlation with no argument or basis. I've already suggested that the statistics provided on clergy sex abuse are not interpreted correctly in a lot of cases, but it may also be quite likely that the statistics themselves aren't correct. A recent Newsweek article suggests that the female component of the scandals has been marginalized. One of the findings from the John Jay report that is rarely mentioned is that among victims under the age of eight, more girls were actually molested by priests than boys. The survivor's network of those abused by priests claims to have females making up half of its 9,000 members. The reported cases of female abuse may also be less due to a lack of concern on the part of church officials. Would an allegation of molestation from a boy be taken more seriously than that of a girl? I don't find it so hard to believe for a church that still refuses to allow women into the priesthood and demands its male priests to be celibate. Some defenders of the Catholic Church need to believe homosexuality is the cause of pedophilia because otherwise they have nothing to blame but the church itself. The infallible church that has covered up these cases, moved around these priests, and done its best to look after its own reputation instead of the safety of children. Homosexuals had no part in any of that. The Vatican has a long history of self-interest that trumps all sense of morality and decency, too. We're talking about the same organization that only apologized in 1992 for condemning Galileo, and apologized in 1995 for the violence committed against Protestants during the Counter-Reformation of the 16th century. The Church is not very fond of admitting fault. For all of its sins and the wealth it has amassed and dumbfounding ignorance of Christ's teachings on poverty in the Bible, perhaps it's time for the Vatican to really show its worth by a final act of charity. Give Rome back to Italy, dissolve the church, and of course, sell all your possessions and give to the poor. Think what a lasting reputation that would award to Catholicism.